Hype House. This week on Go With The Heat, your enthusiast guide to Miami Vice, we dig deep into whatever works. The second episode of the second season. On This Week in Vice, we'll be looking back to September 29th to October 5th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 1st, Israel would carry out Operation Wooden Leg against the Palestinian Liberation Organization near Tunis, Tunisia. The strike would kill dozens of PLO, even be condemned by the U.S. And in a story that's close to my heart, on October 4th, the Free Software Foundation is founded by Richard Stallman. The FSF is a nonprofit organization that, quote, promotes universal freedom to study, distribute, create, and modify computer software. Though the FSF and Richard Stallman are seen as wild copyleft outliers, the FSF is an important part of computing history. In music, the Dire Straits classic Money for Nothing holds the top spot on the Hot 100 for one more week. Digging through the archives, I found another song off a movie soundtrack that made it into the top 10 in 1985. We Don't Need Another Hero, Thunderdome by Tina Turner from the soundtrack for the Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome would reach number two on the charts and would be one of Tina Turner's best-selling songs internationally. It's no secret I'm a Mad Max junkie, but this song still confounds me. Much the same as Sun Almost Fire, the song really has nothing to do with the film and just crams the movie title in unnecessarily but we can all agree tina turner in beyond thunderdome is fantastic feature finally relinquishes the top spot in the box office. But to a surprising candidate, the action flick Invasion USA starring Chuck Norris would win the weekend at the dismay of most critics. Invasion USA is a silly movie and often ranks with some of the worst action movies from the 1980s. But that wouldn't stop Canon Films from releasing a sequel and even licensing a novelization. This movie is a favorite of mine, but for all the wrong reasons. It's one of those films that's just so bad it's good. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Have some feedback for the show or a favorite memory from 1985? Email the show at gowiththeheat at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe. You can find our shows on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and SoundCloud. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.